That's a wrap for CES 2025, and humanoids were certainly the focus of this year's show. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, stole the show as he presented alongside a long lineup of humanoids. He emphasized that the general robotics moment is upon us. Fueled by NVIDIA's advancements in AI and the Omniverse, humanoids capable of operating in human environments. NVIDIA is developing the Isaac Groot platform to help train these robots through imitation, learning, creating vast data sets from just a few human demonstrations. Roborock unveiled the Sora Z70, a game-changing hybrid vacuum. After seven years of development, it features the OmniGrip arm, which can pick up small objects weighing up to 300 grams, with a launch planned for April at around $2,000. Engine AI displayed a humanoid with one of the most lifelike walking gates seen yet showcasing how far we've come in robotics. One of the more unique products at CES 2025 was the Mimo, a walking table from Jizai Inc. based out of Japan. This unique piece of furniture blends technology with functionality. Unitree featured their impressive array of robots and humanoids, displaying a range of movements that highlighted the versatility and agility of their strong humanoid lineup. Enchanted Tools showcased their Mori robot, designed for various environments like homes and hospitals. Operating from a spherical base, Mori has a 97% success rate for grasping objects and is already undergoing testing at multiple sites, set to begin work at Broca Hospital in Paris later this year. Samsung showcased their Bali, their intelligent AI home companion, which is set to launch in the first half of 2025. This smart device evolves to understand users, offering a personalized experience over time. Richter showcased their flying electric motorcycle. Designed for short distance travel, their prototype can soar up to 100 kilometers per hour, targeting a price below $50,000. Agility Robotics demonstrated their humanoid named Digit, performing various manufacturing tasks, proving the effectiveness of humanoid robots in industrial applications. The Luna robot was showcased, featuring its quad-core processor and supporting face and gesture recognition. It's a multi-functional companion. TCL presented an adorable AI companion for children. With its charming interface and smart home connectivity, it's designed to be a fun and interactive buddy for kids. Marumi, a prototype wearable robot accessory by Yukai engineering looks like a cute sloth and is set for a crowdfunding campaign soon. Priced around $70, it aims to bring fun to wearable tech. Xpeng showcased their Aero HT, a modular flying car that integrates an electric minivan and a foldable VTOL aircraft designed for easy transport and charging, with mass production planned for 2026. And last, Beatbot showcased its Aquasense 2 lineup of robotic pool cleaners, with the Aquasense 2 Ultra leading the charge as the first AI-powered 5-in-1 cleaner. It can map and maintain pools with precision. I'd love to show you more, but I'd be here all day as CES 2025 was bursting with groundbreaking tech. We'll see you next year at CES 2026.